Hi, Hansim, Nicholas speaking, and today we're going to talk about density. And more precisely, what is the densest thing in the world? First, let's see what is density. Density is how much matter there is in a volume. Basically, it's like the mass of atoms in a given volume. Water, for example, has a density of around 1 kg per liter. It's important to acknowledge that in this video, I will generally talk about density in the standard conditions of temperature and pressure, which are 0 degrees Celsius and atmospheric pressure. So the densest things in the world, well first what is the densest element? It turns out that the densest element that you can find in meaningful quantities on earth is osmium. One cubic meter of osmium which is a cube that is one meter by one meter by one meter has a mass of 22,600 kilograms which is around 22 tons which is not that bad. But this is nothing compared to another dense thing. I'm talking about the neutron star but here a little explanation is needed. We already talked about this on this channel, stars concerned with nuclear fusion, they fuse hydrogen atoms. And after a certain time, stars run out of hydrogen to fuse. And without this energy, gravity is gonna compress the star in a denser and denser sphere. This usually ends up in three different ways. The star might have a mass around one of our sun and will end up being a white dwarf. This is what is gonna happen to the sun in around 5 billion years. Or the star might have a mass that is multiple times the one of our sun and will end up being a neutron star. And what if the star has a mass that is even bigger than that? Well, we're gonna talk about this later in this video. So how are neutron stars formed? Like we said earlier, when a star runs out of hydrogen, it begins to collapse on itself. And at some point, the pressure is so high that the protons and electrons begin to fuse. And they become neutrons, and this is why it's called a neutron star. And even after that, the star is not completely made out of neutrons. There are still protons and electrons, but in smaller quantities than neutrons. So this is how neutron stars are born, but how dense are they? It turns out neutron stars are made of different layers. For instance, the external layer has a density of around 1 billion kilograms per cubic meter. And at the core of the star, the density in kilograms per cubic meter is around 7 to the 17th power, which is about a density of a Boeing 747 compressed down to the size of a grain of sand. It's even denser than the nucleus of an atom. This incredible density is due to the fact that a neutron star has several times the mass of our sun in a diameter of around 10 kilometers. Another number just for the fun, a nanoliter of a neutron star as a ton of mass, literally since it weighs a thousand kilograms. But the neutron star is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to density. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that a star could be way more massive than our sun. The star would not become a neutron star, but a black hole. All the matter that was left from the star accumulates in a space that gets smaller and smaller. The gravitational attraction near the black hole becomes so strong that in order to get away from it, you would need to go faster than the speed of light. And that is impossible, so that's when when you get past the event horizon, there is no going back. So the gravitational pulse is very strong because the mass is so huge. But we want to know the density of a black hole, and mass is not the only thing that accounts in the density. And that's good since the volume of a black hole is ridiculously tiny. Actually, the singularity, the point in space where the mass is, is considered to have no volume at all. And that's why the density in the singularity of a black hole is considered to be infinite. So that's what the densest thing in the universe is, the black hole. And that's it for this video, you can share it with your friends, you can subscribe, and thanks a lot for watching. This usually ends up in three ways. Oh.